So there is also double trouble for the three regions of north as uh, several communities are cut off from the main city centers as floods from constant rains and the Bagri Dam spillage devastate many communities there. So far, two persons have been killed in the floods. Let's take you there for an update because Martina Bugri is on the line with more. Good afternoon to you, Martina. How are residents in these communities faring? Um, for places like Savoba, where they are cut off uh, by the the flood which is taking over the uh, Palba uh, bridge, what they do is you get to the edge of the water and then you would have to stop and cross with a canoe. And so for those who are coming from Saboba, they would have to stay at the other bank, like the Saboba area, and then they would ferry them through the canoe across and then move those at the other end to the area. But those who can afford to come and pay again would have to just remain. And so communities like uh, Palva, Boapuli, Nayiri, Koko, Zoli, Hilltop, Cheriponi, and uh, Sambu are all cut off from the rest of the area. We, we know of some deaths that have been recorded. Any more yet? And um, for the one that happened in West uh, Mampri, so what we are told is um, the boy is called Rahan. Yeah, yeah, he's 12 years old. He went out to play with five of his colleagues and then he got drawn. And it's actually not a river from what I gather. It's just water, uh, excess water, submerged water in the area. He found himself in some deep portion and then got drowned. So, we also have another incident that recorded in the central Gunda at Tama. A woman was being carried, a pregnant woman was being carried to to cross and then she, she got drawn as well. And then another incident in Sabilibu where a, a woman, 60 years, a building collapsed on her. Martin, I'll have you hold because I also have Deputy Director General of NADMO, Abu Ramadan, joining me on phone. Good evening to you, uh, Mr. Ramadan. Anything we can do about this situation? Good evening. Thank you for having me. Um, for now, for now, uh, we can we can only we can only help save save the lives of people to prevent more casualties. Aside that, too, we are we are looking at providing alternatives. Providing alternative uh, 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 accommodation for for people whose homes have 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 collapsed, and uh, giving them some few relief items for the time being. The, the rains don't seem to want to subside anytime soon, and the Bagri Dam is still being spilled at some. Um, uh, please hold on for me, Martina. And um, how bad is the situation in terms of loss of property? Most farms have been submerged, and Saboba, for instance, um, they are telling me that their farms are all in water. They can't even go near the farms now because of the water. If you go around Savilugu, areas around Nabobo and then uh, Nastia, all those farming around the water banks are all submerged. And so lots of money have gone into farming, and then they have nothing to go home after the end of the season. Mr. Ramadan, you talk of release for these uh, people who have been displaced. Exactly what kind of release have you distributed for these people? For, for, for now, for now, for now, the basic important relief so we're giving them, we're giving them um, some some mat, some mattresses, some mosquito nets, some mosquito coils, buckets, and and some food items to sustain them. So as 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 stands now, there is very little we can do in terms of assessment to know what what quantum of I, uh, uh, support alternative livelihood support we should give the people and we are in discussion with government too as well given them the magnitude of the problem we're facing so for now until the, the waters subside a little bit and we can have access to the farms for us to do a proper head count of how many farms acres of farms or hectares of farms have been affected and for that matter which sort of crops did the people uh, and for that matter what alternative source of livelihood are we giving them for now we would only hope for the waters to subside anytime soon so that we can do that. But for now, we're giving them the first aid they need and they deserve to, to, to survive. All right, many thanks to you, Abu Ramadan, and many thanks to you, Martina Bugri. Abu Ramadan is Deputy Director General of NADMO, and Martina Bugri is a woman uh, following this story. We take a break on the poll.